What are the symptoms that should concern patients and prompt them to seek medical attention? Okay, so the, the endometrial cancer. Endometrial cancer. So mm -hmm. what we call the red flag symptom of endometrial yeah. cancer is abnormal vaginal bleeding. Mm -hmm. um, and because most endometrial cancers occur in women who've gone through the menopause, so they're called postmenopausal women, so that's usually women older than 51 or 52 years of age, uh, yeah. because that's the population of people that tend to get endometrial cancer, then the red flag symptom for, for endometrial cancer is postmenopausal bleeding. So any bleeding after the menopause should prompt a woman to go and, and, and see her GP to say, I've had some bleeding. Um, some women aren't aware of when they went through the menopause or it might be difficult to know that they've gone through the menopause. Um, and usually we define having gone through the menopause in retrospect. So we say, well, if you've stopped having periods for a year or more, and it's not due to pregnancy or hormone treatments or anything like that, then you're considered to have gone through the menopause. Uh, so it's a year after your period stop, you would then be considered postmenopausal. Um, and of course, a lot of women will experience menopausal symptoms like hot flushes, night sweats, so on and so forth, which will be another indication that they've gone through the menopause and they will not be having any bleeding. Uh, so if they then suddenly develop bleeding, any bleeding, whether that be spotting, streaking of the underwear when wiping, or more recognizable like a bleed, um, they absolutely need to go and see their GP about that. Um, if they have not gone through the menopause, so they're premenopausal women, um, perhaps in their 30s or 40s, then endometrial cancer is much less common. Mm -hmm. um, but nevertheless, it does happen. Mm -hmm. um, and because it's quite challenging to work out what is causing abnormal bleeding in women who are still having periods, um, I would say that any anything that's different for you is an indication that you should see somebody just to make sure that all is well. So, you know, different people have different experiences of bleeding. Um, but if that changes, so if that becomes that you suddenly have very heavy periods that don't seem to stop, or you have spotting or bleeding between periods, so things that are different for you uh, would be a reason to go and see your GP and said, I've had abnormal bleeding for me. Um, and there's this whole thing about recognizing your normal and when it becomes abnormal for you. Yep, absolutely. So called a, a change in menstrual habit. You're used to, you're having periods for so many years, suddenly, you know, something's changed, do seek um, medical attention for further investigation into that. <laughs> and, um, and again, I just want to highlight the point um, that many women say or may think that, well, actually, it was only just a tiny bit of bleeding. I hear that a lot, it's only a tiny bit of bleeding, so I ignored it. But you just said, you know, any bleeding, any postmenopausal bleeding, Correct. Correct. Women should seek advice. So I just wanted to highlight that point, whether it's a tiny amount of spotting, whether it's flooding, both are abnormal and both need to be investigated. That's absolutely right. And there doesn't seem to be a correlation between the amount of bleeding and the likelihood that there's a cancer there. So we see, unfortunately, see plenty of people who've just noticed a spot or two of blood. And then we do the investigations and we find out they do have endometrial cancer. Yeah. Other patients where they notice quite a lot of bleeding, like maybe even like a period that they used to have. Mm -hmm. um, and when we do all the tests, there's nothing there. So there isn't a correlation between the amount of bleeding and the chance of finding a cancer. And so we say any abnormal bleeding, particularly after the menopause, you should get it checked out. Perfect. Great.